growing up, uh, you know, culture has a lot to do with it, and, and what you are expected to do is sometimes driven by, by what people think you ought to be. And so when I was growing up in India, you know, you either had to be a doctor or an engineer. So I said, okay, fine, I'll be an engineer. And I started there, and, and, um, and that was good. I mean, I enjoyed it. Never any good at it, um, I thought. <laughs> Uh, so I said, well, you know, maybe I'll be a good banker. What do you know, <laughs> right? So, uh, uh, but I, I went from engineering and I went into business school. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed economics. Um, but, um, uh, and, and you're right. I mean, I really enjoy the subject of markets and how decisions get made, how it's real time, uh, public policy, economic policy. These are all exciting, yet, you know, Finding exactly what to do with that, um, you know, was not easy. I, uh, I um, you know, started off believing and thinking I would like being an, a, an academics, a researcher, a teacher. I like that, but I, write, I like real world problems more. And, uh, and uh, you know, it all came together when, when, when I wound up going to Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley back then was about 2,500 people. I mean, it was, it was the size of some of the smaller private equity funds today <laughs> in some ways. It was a different era. It's almost 30 years ago. And that was really enjoyable because um, I had a lot of uh, ability to do things I wanted to do. And, uh, and, uh, and I grew up through that. And, and I've never really thought back as to how I got from here to here to here. There are lots of, uh, of um, uh, interesting incidents that happen along the way that, that, that guide you. But I do enjoy uh, the topic. And you got to do that. I mean, if you're not passionate about learning, if you're not passionate about what you're doing, you don't like the subject matter, you know, might as well go do something else. And that's, uh, that's a critical aspect of what makes one successful. I really never tried to manage my career. I never thought about uh, uh, the future in that way. I mean, if you, if you, you, you couldn't write a novel collecting the, uh, connecting the dots of my career and say, here's something that could have been planned ever. So it never happened that way. To me, the most important thing I learned was from um, one of my teachers, one of my professors said, look, there are very simple rules. Just figure out what you're really passionate about and follow that, just do that. Secondly, you know, if you happen to be passionate about something that's a growth industry, that's great, by the way. That's, that's what you should really try and see if you can get passionate about that. And, uh, <laughs> and lastly, uh, you know, if you are going to go out and do something, make sure you do it with a company or people that have the right values and that you really like working with it. The most important decision I had to make in my career the most important decision I had to make was to go from an, uh, being an individual producer, somebody who was really good at something and really enjoyed doing it, to somebody who decided that actually, you know what, I could enjoy becoming a manager. It's very different to be good at what you're doing. And it's a completely different thing to say, now I'm going to get my enjoyment by watching others succeed. Uh, that transition is a very, very difficult transition to make. And, uh, and you know, it, it, it's one of those things where you have to teach yourself that you go from being the valedictorian to somebody who manages valedictorians, and there are plenty of them here, I know. Uh, and uh, how you manage that talent, how you nurture that talent, how you grow it was a very big shift, and that's probably the single biggest shift that got me from what I was, a financial professional, somebody who really enjoyed that, uh, to where I am today.